The shit I put up with, it's unreal. I'm not used to bloodshot. Looks like I haven't slept for days, right? Well, here's my story. Monday. I go to work. I get off of work. I hear it's supposed to be 15 below zero with the windshield factor. So, I take my truck to Beaver Dam. And I fill it up with free farm gas. The good shit. Mid grain. <clears throat> and then, how oh, I had ISO heat, and then I added a bottle of sea foam to my oil to break it down a little bit because it was a little thick like molasses. Sea foam is good for your oil crankcase, cleans it all up before you do an oil change. Drive for like 200 miles, whatever. And then change your oil, you'll see a big difference. Anyways, after I did that, I went home, got my bill for flea farm. I go to get the money already at the post office, pay it. And then when I go home, I hear a bunch of fucking screaming and yelling. Like, oh boy, they're going at it again. So I ignore it. I don't want nothing to do with it. So I come upstairs. It's already going on 5 o'clock. Huh. Oh, it's going on 5 o'clock. Yeah, I poke around. Anyways, yeah, I couldn't get the gas cap off. It was frozen. Out of rain. Got locking gas cap. I couldn't get it open. So it took a while before I got that open. I poured some ice with heat down inside the, the locking mechanism. That helped. So remember that. Anyways. So then, you know, when I get home, I hear the screaming and yelling. I ignore it. No, I'm sick of it. I ignore it. I, I tell the landlord. And she, oh, they fighting again. The cops been here over six times. How many motherfucking times do they have to come here before she does something about it? Wait until the body bags come? Yeah, let's, let's wait until the body bags come. That's all we need, some more dead fucking body spirits floating around inside this house. Landlord already, first landlord, when I moved in here 15 years ago, he died in here. And the lady that lived up here, she used to be an ex-teacher. She died. Well, she didn't die in here, but she died. She lived here. Um, so... How many times do the police have to come here because of them fighting and smashing shit up? They bitch at me for not cutting the grass on time, not shoveling the snow on time. They they think, you know, get out there with a tape measure and measure it. Oh, it's four inches. Get your ass out here and cut it now. Oh. It just snow. Get your ass out here and plow it. Now. I'm supposed to walk around on eggshells because yesterday I was trying to do karaoke. She shut my fucking power off. She just didn't shut it off. She went through each fucking button. Three or four times each button. So every fucking room at one at a time is going off and on, off and on. My computer going off and on. Everything going off and on. Like she's just trying to fucking fry my shit out. I had to reprogram all my fucking shit. Hope she's happy. I let it go. I let it slide. You know, karma's a fucking payback. So, anyways, the scream gets louder. 
louder, start smashing things. Louder, I don't know, like three or four people down there. Uh, try not to listen, you know. But I wish I would have got it on YouTube. I should have. They wrecked two goddamn movies. That's four hours about screaming, yelling, arguing, fighting, smashing shit. Four fucking hours. First movie I tried to watch was the remake. I was pissed. The remake of The Crow. And then the second movie I tried to watch, The Orange is the New Black. They wrecked both fucking movies. They were louder than the fucking television. And I got surround sound with stereo. I couldn't hear a goddamn thing. They got louder and louder, more violent, more violent. All of a sudden I hear, You gonna do what? Oh, hell no. And all of a sudden they started scattering and shit. Well, I guess she said, I'm gonna call the police. They were pounding on the door and she's in the bedroom trying to kill herself. I don't know what. But she's in there smashing shit all up, you know. Anyways, so, uh, when it gets quiet, obvious, well, here's the cops pounding on my door. I ain't answering shit. I'm going around with flashlights, and now it's nighttime dark, you know. I'm going around with flashlights, flashing them up in my windows. I hate when they do that fucking shit. Leave me the fuck out of it. Anyways, we're running around with flashlights and shit, so he leave. Well, guess what? After all that bullshit, you know, it's 10 o'clock at night, 10.30. After all that bullshit, they had a dog outside. Outside. Tied up to a fucking post. Crying, barking, crying, barking, crying, barking, crying, barking. I thought she was inside. So then I did a little test. I went in the back of there and I was knocking on the thing, you know, make some foot stumps. Whatever. Because she usually goes where the sound is. Like, wait a minute, that dog's outside. So I run down the stairs, I open up the door, and there she is. Crying. Barking. And doing her palms like this, you know, the palms are freezing. And uh, I can't trust the dog. I can't get near the dog. The dog is dangerous. Put the daddy in the hospital three times, four times, whatever. It got stitches all over. I don't know how they're getting away with that shit, but usually when a dog bites somebody, they destroy the dog. Maybe they say, oh, he was in Milwaukee, they take Milwaukee, get him stitched up, whatever. They say it was a random dog, whatever. The dog changes, I can't get near it. So this goes on and on and on, barking. I didn't get no fucking sleep last night. And then uh, somebody uh, smashed the door open, whatever, and got the dog inside, got it in an apartment. And finally got quiet, but then the fucking alarm goes off. A little bit right after that. So I started to doze off just a little bit, then the alarm goes off. I get up. I'm mad at a motherfucker. Go in the bathroom, use the bathroom. I look in the mirror, my eyes are fucking completely bloodshot. And I just felt like passing right out. I had no sleep. Passing right out. And then uh, I look out my curtain from my hallway downstairs. Here's the door wide open. Wide fucking open. Three degrees out. Doors wide open. I'm like, oh, hell no. What's going on? Dead bodies downstairs? I don't know. I didn't check. I didn't look. So then I called in work. You know, I took a sick day. I'm not going to go to work and fucking get hurt falling asleep. Running fucking machinery. And I said, I called in work. I went back to bed laid on. I'm thinking, that goddamn door is wide open. You know, pipes the pipes are going to break in the, in the basement because there's no heat in the basement. And that cold air is going right down in the basement like a cooler. So I get up. I walk down the fucking stairs. Here it's unlocked. So I unlocked it so it's locked. And, you know, flip it. And I take the motherfucker and I slam it shut. The dog came barking at me for a little bit and then stopped. I don't know if somebody's down there or what, but I stomped back upstairs, closed my fucking door, and went back to bed. Here I am. Now, so I got a couple hours to sleep. I feel a little better. Two minutes after nine. So, you ever see the movie Portuguese? 
I'm going to name this the real live poker case in Fox Lake, Wisconsin. Dead bodies popping up everywhere, screaming and yelling, fighting, killing each other. <clears throat> so, I need a beer to calm myself down. I ain't got to work. I didn't call in sick. I called in because I didn't get no goddamn sleep. All right? I didn't get no sleep. After this, I'm going back to bed. But, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since 7 o'clock last night. So, 7, 8, 9. That's 10 hours. Pink salmon for breakfast. My George Furman. <clears throat> okay, pink salmon and beer. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Mmm. So tender. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I put a devil smash of dust on her. I haven't marinated in a while. Over 24 hours in the devil's dust. And just regular bottled water. I won't use the tap water. You see when it flakes like that? See that? When it flakes like that, it's done. Okay. One thin flake. He's so tender I'm using the plastic fork. I would never eat this shit with a stand up still for a down. I wonder if I should just eat half of this and save the other half for later. Maybe. Mm. I am getting home. This was a whole half of a lay for seventeen hours. What a deal. Normally for just this one piece. This just for this one piece. Be about twelve dollars normally. That's in the summertime. I wonder if the price goes down in the winter or what. Look at that. Just look at that. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I put honey mustard, um, honey mustard dressing on it when I fried it. Mm. Yep, I'm gonna say that I have. Yep. Mm. 
just gonna help me see. I know you are freaking. How the fuck can that man drink beer at 9 o'clock in the morning? Because I didn't get no goddamn sleep that toy. Give me a fucking break. This is my night time. This is like working third shift. Trust me, I don't, I, the whole time I was laying in bed, soaking wet. Just sweating my ass off. Maybe I had the pool. I don't know. I had the shits yesterday. The bubble shits. So maybe, maybe everything happens for a reason. Maybe I needed the day off. Oh. Oh, that's I had the bubble shits. Maybe I had the pool. I don't know. But I'm better now. I'm feeling a lot better. I can feel that devil's dust rushing for me while I wasted the beer. Might be the devil's dust. Oh my god. Look at that. I haven't clouded in once for a whole fucking six months. I'm there every fucking day. I haven't called him once for six months. So give me a fucking break. I didn't call him in July. August, oh, September, October, November, December, January. Yeah. In six fucking months. Last time I called it was for my kidney stones. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, boss, that works for me. Not to eat that shit. The brown shit. Don't eat that. You get the shits. You're right because. Well, that's good, huh? Awesome, huh? Good dog does says we love that. The dog eats the skin. Mm. Okay. We're done. Let's call it this. Change. Subscribe. 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 Like, love you guys. I'm gonna go night night. I just got paid to eat that. People are thinking, yeah, right. You just caught in sick just so you can eat that. No, I caught in because I didn't get no goddamn sleep last night. I ain't fucking kidding either. Don't piss me off. And trust me, I'm so goddamn pissed last night. I want to stomp up and down on the fucking foot of the floor. Saying, shut the fuck up. Good thing I don't have a goddamn gun because I would have went down there and killed everybody and then go back to bed. Good thing I don't have a fucking gun. Shotgun pump. I'll go to prison. I don't give a fuck. I just can't people stand motherfuckers that bitch at me for doing karaoke, but they're down there fucking screaming and fighting, smashing shit. I'm supposed to be going to work early. I might get up 4 15 every morning. This is Tuesday or Monday night. It's going to be Tuesday morning. No, I need my fucking sleep. God damn it.
No, I fucking... Well, like I said, I had the shits yesterday. So maybe I had the blue, I don't know. Maybe that's why I sweated it out. Oh, I sweated it out last night. You know, I didn't get no sleep. I might have dozed up and on. The dog would be quiet for 10, 15 minutes. And then just start crying and howling, howling, crying, howling, and crying, crying, and crying. That poor dog. It's probably got frostbite on his feet. Her feet. It's a Kia. Poor dog. The dog wasn't so goddamn dangerous. She tried biting me a couple times already. I don't trust the dog at all. No. I don't trust the dog at all. If I would have went up there and tried to unclip her, she would have probably fucking attacked me. No. Of course, they train her to protect the house. Protect their values. What the fuck ever. So, if the dog wasn't so goddamn violent, I would have I went out there, unclipped it, and brought it in the house. I would have. But I can't trust that fucking dog. And I hate it when it's probably illegal what they do. They taught it they tie the dog out in front of my front steps. So if I have to leave, I can't. I do not fucking trust that dog. It bit their daddy. Oh then I know he had scars all over him. I don't know if he's alive or dead or what. He he said he fell down and smashed his head open. He was in critical condition in the University Hospital. I don't know if he's dead or alive. No one said nothing, but I seen all the scars on his whole body. He needed to go to the autopsy on that guy. If he is dead. Look at all the bite marks. One time they had a muzzle on the dog, so so it wouldn't bite him. You know, they left him alone with the dog. Stupid. Anyways, I tried to get in the house and I couldn't get in the house because a dog stuck his head out and just going fucking crazy <laughs> with the muzzle on him. So I told her daddy, because the daddy's peeking his head out saying, Who that, who that, who that, who that. So when he stuck his head out, the dog stuck his head out or her head out. And, and I said, You know what, daddy? I'll close the door. You get that dog back in the house and shut the door so I can get in. I couldn't get in. You know, the dog wouldn't attack me. So, when I close, as soon as I close the door, as soon as I close the door, right, pull it shut. As soon as it went click, he tried to pull the dog by his collar. His head got stuck in the door. I pulled the fucking muzzle off. And the dog shook back and forth like this, and fucking the door closed, and the dog attacked his daddy. Just tore his daddy, tore him up. Because he went, yeah. And got his head pinched in the door when he's pulling the door shut. It pinched his head, and pulled off the muzzle, and it just tore his daddy up. They took him to Milwaukee. Intensive care, whatever. Got him fixed up. He was pretty bad. Ripped him up. Ripped him up real good. How to get away with shit, I don't know. Nobody says nothing. How you spell Portuguese? Uh, Alright, this is gonna be the, pot the real live Portuguese. In Fox Lake, Wisconsin. Subscribe, Carl Cash. Bye. <laughs> How to get away with this shit? I don't know. How many times do the cops gotta come here before the landlord does something? See, they fight again. Are they fighting again? Oh, those kids. They need to. They need to grow up. See, she's getting like maybe seven hundred fifty dollars a month from them, and she tells me she's only making eight fifty an hour working at some fucking pet store. 
her husband left her and she stuck with the house he said if the house is yours he don't want nothing to do with it and she needs the rent money to survive and she needs my rent money to survive she can't fix shit I tell her everything that's wrong I got holes in the fucking ceiling got a toilet falling through the fucking floor I got fucking mold in the shower she was supposed to replace that shower a long time ago she had this place for about 10 years there's water dripping from the fucking toilet because the toilet's just fucking like this you know, one of these days I'm going to sit down on and fall right through the fucking floor ha ha funny she says well Karen I know I can't afford to fix that I'm only making eight fifty an hour I can't afford to fix it you need to help me she wants me to fix the shit for free but they would pay somebody else big fucking money to fix one little thing they said that I've been here long enough that I should fix the shit for free I should fix the shit for free because I've been here 15 years <laughs> fix it for free she said she'll pay for the supplies, plaster and shit, put a hole in the ceiling. Can't fix mold, bitch. People ask me why do I deal with it. Yeah, I puke up blood every fucking day. And here the fucking asbestos, with asbestos in here, and lead paint. One of these days I'm going to take fucking pictures and show the fucking world how I fucking live in this fucking well there ain't no rat's nest and there ain't no rats but it is a rat's nest rats don't even want to fucking live here you should see the fucking basement bye I gotta find out how to spell Portuguese Poltergeist in Fox Lake, Wisconsin. Bye. Subscribe, Crowkiss. <laughs> Love you guys.